good morning guys um so i got a late start today i have a horrible headache i'm hoping that it's not going to turn into a migraine so i'm doing everything i can to fight against that but we'll see um so my better half has gotten into poison ivy at some point um so we are doing special laundry um i already have clothes soaking um i'm gonna since i don't have a regular washer um you know it usually agitates it fills it agitates it drains the water washes it and then it rinses it a few times um, and it helps to get the oils out of the poison ivy so what we do is I soak those for about an hour or two dump the water wring everything out fill it back up do soap wash rinse extra thoroughly rinse um, and then we do it again I'm probably gonna have to do this two to three times today um, just because when you have poison ivy, that oil stays on your skin and it spreads as you wear your clothes. Um, so, and then the other thing that we're doing today, I'm, I'm going to start on it. I'm probably not going to, I'm not going to get it finished today is what I'm saying. Um, we have decided to go ahead and start working on the root cellar. Um, just because the digging up here was so easy. Um, and it's kind of stupid to not start just because we're waiting on money for a machine. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here today. Um, and I'm going to clear this out. We're going to take down some, we're just going to take down some trees today. And we're going to clear out all the underbrush and get this mowed down as much as we can. Um, and then I'm going to start digging and we're going to see how far we get. Um, I'm also playing around with the idea of maybe doing a couple of raised beds. Um, so we may get back there in the pile and see what we have that we can use for that. Um, we are really fighting with wild animals um, when it comes to our garden. And I'm tired of putting in hours and hours of work. Um, and losing everything. For me to clear, since I'm clearing by hand with a hoe, um, to do an eight by eight section takes about three hours to get it completely cleared out. Um, and between rabbits and birds, they are they have destroyed pretty much everything. So um, I'm, I'm thinking about that. What are your best gardening tips? What's, what do you do to deal with rabbits? Um, you know, because even though we're teaching you guys how to do things and showing you how we do it, um, we don't know everything. And sometimes, you know, you can learn a lot from other people. Um, I'm also thinking about getting out here and mowing. Um, last night was a little scary. Um, <laughs> almost stepped on a rattlesnake. Um, so I'm thinking about mowing, cutting some grass pretty low. Um, up here um, just so that we aren't fighting against snakes so so very much so that's where we're, where we're gonna start and um, we'll see how far we okay so um, to about 30 minutes um, which isn't horrible um, but I got the front up by the house mowed down really close um, the places where it's still high um, my better half will come through with uh, um, a weed eater and clean that up so but the entrance to our house looks all pretty now it's all cut close so I think we're gonna I'm gonna check the fuel on the mower um, and we're gonna see if we can get this front cut and um, I'm also thinking about going to the back and cutting one of my sections um, I, sec I, sec I sectioned off um, some of the stuff we're growing for hay um, and I'm wanting to start cutting it soon so that it can sit and dry for you know a week maybe two or three days um, and then as I continue to cut sections um, I'm going to slowly be going back and belling that by hand. Um, but we cut it into sections so that it's just more manageable for me. Um, 
because it's just gonna be me bailing this year. Um, but we're hoping if we start this early that I can get two to three cuttings um, off of my hay. So we will, we will see how that goes. I have tons I wanna do today. I always seem to have more on my to-do list um, than I actually have time for. So we'll see how far we get. Okay guys, so the mower is gassed up and we're ready. Okay, so we just made it out to the back part of the property and as you can see the lines that I've cut in here, um, I've just been, when I come out to mow back here, this is what I've been cutting in um, and it's just broken it down into a grid pattern. Um, so we're going to start in the far back corner and I'm going to mow that today um, and you know every couple of days come out here and mow another section um, and then once it's been able to dry for a little bit I'll come out I'll hand rake it with a hard rake um, and then we'll let it sit in the rows for a couple more days um, and then we'll come out and we'll just do a section at a time bailing. Um, I'm hoping to get three cuttings this year. Um, I'm not sure that we actually will. Um, but this is what we're gonna do. It's about 11 o'clock and uh, um, I've gotten in here and cleared out what I could so far with the mower. Um, we have these huge thorns that attach onto our trees and kill them. I am slowly eradicating them from the property. It's just slow going. So I'm gonna have to go in with clippers, um, hand clippers and clip those. Um, and then we're gonna hand saw some of these little trees down and out of the way. And then we're gonna get my chainsaw out and we're gonna start clearing some of these dead branches off. Um, and we're gonna take out, we're gonna take out some trees um, and see how clear we can get this. Um, I think it's gonna be real easy digging, which I'm excited about. Um, I'm not expecting to get horribly far on it today. Um, but we're gonna try. Okay, so it is stupid hot today, but this area that we have um, is full of poison ivy and poison sumac and stuff like that. We also have these giant thorns. Um, so I put long sleeves on just for this part. Um, it's also in the shade, so that's good. Um, but one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is these thorns. Um, we found them on the other side of our creek originally. And anything that they attach to, they're just killing. And, you know, we're seeing them kill giant trees. And so I started doing some research, and it turns out that they are um, in the bamboo family. And Noah, leave him alone. She's after a turtle. Um, so they're very invasive. It's very hard to get rid of unless you just pull them up from the root. Um, but one of the things that you can do that'll help save your trees um, is to air gap it. Um, the one of the trees that it's on, I'm gonna have to take out some of these trees just because they're they're dying and there's not any bringing them back. Um, if you if you have trees on your property and you are worried about whether those trees are salvageable or not, or you're worried about how to save them, um, contact us. Um, my better half is full of tons of information. He knows how to, um, he can even come out and show you how to make healthy cuts, do them for you. Um, but one of the things that we do to save our trees is that we find a spot up in the tree where it hasn't fully attached yet. And we cut it. So this one has three on it. So we're gonna cut those. And then we come down here um, and I'm eventually going to dig these up because we're clearing for our root cellar. So what we're going to do is I am just going to start and they have, they do like cucumbers and they have the little spindly things that attach to your trees, which makes it hard to get off sometimes. Um, I just go through with my snippers and we cut those off as well. Um, but um, this tree that, this, that these ones are attached to, this is actually a walnut tree, um, and we're wanting to be able to save this tree. So we're gonna do whatever we can to make that happen. So I have one thorn gone, um, but what happens is doing this method, um, if you've never done it this way before, 
And this is actually called air gapping. And what it does is, um, because sometimes, sometimes pulling too hard on these, um, because they are so strong and attached so much, they can actually do more damage to your tree than you're intending. Um, so when you air gap them, it leaves, uh, it leaves the thorns on the tree. Um, but at the same time, it disconnects them from the roots so they can't keep growing and they just stop um, and they die. And when they die, um, I have a whole bunch of them here that are dead. Um, they turn brown and they're very brittle. And once they turn like this, they're very easy to pull off. Um, and it doesn't cause as much damage to your tree. So but as you can see, I have a whole thorn patch here. So I'm gonna get through this um, and then get my handsaw out and we're gonna take down some of these smaller trees. Okay, so uh, thorns are out. Um, we took out what little trace that we could with just the handsaw. Um, I'm still trying to clear, but there's um, trees and stuff in the way still. So we're gonna have to cut those out. Um, we are gonna end up doing an eight by eight root cellar. Um, you can do as small as a five by eight. It works for about a family of three, um, but we're wanting to use it as storage also. Um, so we're gonna make it an eight by eight. Um, they don't suggest you going over a 10 by 10, um, but this is where we're at right now. Um, we're gonna go up to the house and grab my chainsaw and then I'll show you what we're doing now. So, um, went up to the house, got some water because it's hot, um, grabbed my chainsaw, we call this my bush bush. Um, this is just our little battery powered chainsaw. It's our baby of them all. Um, hi, Bubba. Um, so, um, this is the one that I have to use, um, just because the compression, um, on his chainsaws is too much for me to actually be able to start them on my own. And if I make him start them, he might as well just do it for me. So, um, I'm going to get in here and we're going to clear out some limbs and stuff. Um, and take a couple trees out. Now we just have to haul them off and then we can start digging. Well, my sharpshooter was left out in the sun, so it's really hot. So I'm going to put it in the shade so it can cool off for a little bit, which means it's going to be a little while before I can start digging. Plus, I really doubt that you guys want to sit and watch me dig for hours on end. Um, so um, I guess I'll do an update um, on this as we go. Um, you guys got to see how we cleared it out. Um, we, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing tomorrow, um, project wise, because I have to get our stuff ready for us to leave the homestead for a few days. Um, we are going into town to stay with my family, um, because my mother's birthday is this weekend, um, and it is her first birthday without her mommy. So, um, we're going to go in town, have some family time, um, hopefully have some time to, to rest a little bit. Um, it's really the only time that we do rest, even though while we're in town, we're doing stuff for the homestead. So I guess I'm going to end the video here because we are getting to the hottest part of the day. Um, and once it gets hot out here, it gets a little hard to be able to film. Um, but... I know this video wasn't very exciting today, 
Um, but thanks for sticking around with me. So until I talk to you again, I hope you guys are being safe and I hope you're making smart decisions. Bye guys.